Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the shop. Boy, we got cold last night, about 25 degrees. It's uh, oh, late September. I don't know the exact date I'll post that on here. <clears throat> but we got our first snow yesterday. Just a little trace on the ground, but it was enough to stick for half a day. But it's warming up a little bit. So uh, i got to get the shop cleaned up so I can get all my equipment under the roof so it keeps getting snowed on. So we're going to build some uh, sawhorses today to put stuff on. And uh, I've seen these sawhorse videos all over the YouTube, and uh, but I haven't seen one quite like this. So I'll show you my version of a uh, pretty good sawhorse. I uh, used them a lot when I was uh, building houses and stuff. So we'll... Uh, set you up on a tripod and and uh, bring you along and show you how we do this all right we'll go ahead and uh, cut us some legs up here I'm using a uh, one to six that uh, it's just some scrap stuff that I've got laying around it's not much good for anything it's warped and filthy dirty you know so it wouldn't look like much I got it out of an old barn I cleaned out for a guy but we're going to uh, cut these legs out of it. You can use a one by four or a one by six. Uh, you know, I figure the bigger the better. The uh, legs will be uh, 36 inches long, and they're going to have a uh, 14 degree angle on the top, and it'll have a 14 degree bevel also. So we'll go ahead and set our bevel here. Everything is 14 degrees on this. So that's all you got. The only angle you got to remember is 14 degrees. So we'll go ahead and cut our first angle here. The leg's 36 inches long, so we'll just measure from bevel to bevel. Give us a 36 inch. You don't roll the board or flip the board or anything. You just cut off that 36 inch right there. We used to make these when we'd hit the job site for the first time. We'd make us a new set of saw horses and, and a cut table. And these, uh, these are pretty good saw horses. I was working up to the Bridger Center up in Jackson, or Teton Village, north of Jackson. And uh, there was a drywaller had these. And he made it all out of one by stuff. And so I copied off. Just measured off of his sawhorse and uh, modified it a little bit and come up with these. Okay, there's the. That's how you do the legs. You need for a, a set of sawhorses. Of course, you got to have eight of them. Okay, the top. I used uh, two to six. This one happens to be cedar, just some old trim that I got laying around. So that's the top, and I ripped a 14 degree bevel on each side. Get that compressor off so we can hear what's going on. But that's how you do the bevel, and this will be the top, the narrow the narrow will be the top. So, you, and you got to have two of them. Then some one before for the side rails, and a little bit of plywood for your gusset on the end. And uh, that's basically all it is. And you can make it out of whatever you want, and you can make it any size you want. I made a little tiny one to go under my son's uh, toolbox for his truck. He was storing it here in the barn. I wanted to keep it up off the ground. 
but I wanted to use it as a bench top, so I built these little saw horses and put them under his toolbox. Worked out pretty good. I'll put a picture into those. All right, get everything all zeroed back up here. All righty, well, uh, I got my tops done, I got my legs done, I got my one by done. So we'll go ahead and uh, spin you around, we'll show you how we assemble these. All right, I think we're all set up now to uh, get started here. Got a square, pencil, tape, you know, all the normal stuff. We're gonna put this together with uh, inch and five eight screws. I've got the glue in my pocket warming up. So we need a, an end, or at the top. We need a leg. And the way I start these out is, I like my the bottom of my leg to be in line with the end of the saw hook, or the yeah the end of the top, and the top is roughly two or uh, four feet. <clears throat> so we stand this up on end. Let me go get a clamp so it doesn't fall over. We just put a little clamp on the end here just to give it a foot. gives that and I put a square on it that'll make sure that it's right straight up and down and then the leg will splay out from the top and so we just square that off and we'll make it square to the ground and then we set our leg on there Rest it on the table, make sure the top's flush, and we put a mark on where the light goes. Just like that. So our light from the end will be eight and three quarters. Alright. So now we'll go ahead and screw these on. Got some drywall screws there. Put a little bit of glue. It just happens to be Type Bond 3. If you watch my counter video, it's a leftover from that. And you don't need to glue this stuff. I just do because it's going to be around a while. We didn't glue them when I was a carpenter because it was easier for us just to smash them with a forklift and throw them in the scrap box as haul them to the next job site or store them in between jobs. It looks like it's going to split behind you. You go ahead and pre-drill them. Get a little crack there. I might have to pre-drill these, so we'll try this one and see how that goes. Yep, they're cracking, so you better get our drill out. Eight and three quarter. Leg. Make 
sure we get the bevel all right so it all fits in there nice. And we'll give us some. Countersinks. Just like that. And we'll just repeat that uh, three more times. Get the other end on and, and uh, do the other do the other saw horse. And then uh, we'll come back and show you what the next little process is. All right, I got all the legs put on. So it's starting to look like a saw horse. Got this one upside down on here. Now we're going to figure out the gussets for here, and we'll just use uh, uh, it looks like three eighths plywood, um, eight inches wide. We we'll just set this up here, and we know we know that it's a uh, fourteen degree angle. So we'll just get our width here, just by right here at the, at the top. Right there's our width, and let's see what it happens to be. Looks like it happens to be six and seven eighths. So we'll go ahead and set our bevel back to 14 and just come in on those lines. right there and of course the legs will splay out and match. So we need uh, four of them so we'll just go ahead and cut them right now while we've got the saw set. Now it's easier to set this on the ground like that. See if you guys can still see what I'm doing. Yep. And I don't think we need that quite that long. So we're going to go uh, inch and a quarter now. Just 
set that gusset right down tight up against the, the top. right here close to the top. Both sides. And then we'll just pull the gusset around until it's flush with the leg. I'll pull the leg around until it's flush with the gas in the way. Push that right around to where it comes up flush. That's it. We just do that on each end, and uh, that makes pretty pretty solid sawhorse, lightweight. Uh, so I'll go ahead and get those other three ends on and then bring you back and show you how I put the shelf and the side kickers on, or the side rails. All right, we got our gussets on and uh, it's looking pretty good and you could probably use it like this. Uh, it won't be as strong as when we're finished here, but I mean, that makes a pretty good sawhorse. Uh, the height is worked out after the legs were all splayed to be 33 and 3 quarter inches tall. That's with a 36 inch leg. So what I want to do is uh, put a shelf about halfway. So we said we were uh, 33 and 3 quarter. So halfway up is... Uh, 16 and 3 quarter, 16 and, and 16 and uh, 7 8, something like that. So we'll just put us a mark on here. In fact, uh, 16, that'd be a good, good height. So we'll just go 16 inch and uh, that works out 16 straight up is 17 and a quarter. Up the leg. So we'll come up 17 and a quarter right there. Okay, and so our width between our marks will be. Call it uh, eh, 40 and an eight. So I've got our one by stuff here. So we'll cut us a 14 degree angle. We want 40 and an eight. And that will be on the short side of the bevel. And this one you will need to flip around. So we want uh, short side of the bevel, bevel, 40. You're not building a piano here, it's a sawhorse. And then these will go on like this. So we'll get us a 
some uh, pre-drill here. Gonna give us a rough idea where we're at. use the uh, inch and a quarters again so we our screw doesn't come through the back side. Give us a little bit of glue here, about out of glue. And uh, you can use construction adhesive, you know, whatever you whatever you got. And uh, you know, this is, uh, you know, just to get you by. So we'll mark that, put it right on the mark, and put that screw in right next to it. We'll come up. screw in. Make sure everything's on our lines. It's a little bit long. So back that one out. I'm gonna flush things up. This really, really sturdies it up. This does it here, keeps the legs from splaying this way. This one keeps it from splaying this way. And you can put a lot of weight on this. I've had a whole bunk of tuba sixes setting on a set of saw horses like this. And then I use them for scaffolding. Uh, that's why I put the wider board on. You can use a tuba for. I've gone up to uh, 2 to 12, you know, to give me something nice and wide to stand on. Okay, so that's that. And we'll uh, go ahead and put one on the other side. And uh, the other two on the other sawhorse. And then I'll bring it back and we'll put the plywood top on. So, or the plywood shelf. All right, the final step is to put the plywood shelf on. And it worked out that the shelf was 26 long and it's like about 16 and 7 eighths, 16 and 3 quarter uh, wide. And we'll just uh, screw those right on. Kind of center this up between the legs. And we'll just screw them down. I'm just using uh, OSB. And it looks like a half inch or the equivalent to half an inch. Probably seven sixteenths. Now you don't need to put this shelf on, but uh, it, it sure comes in handy when you're working on something and you need to set your tool down. You don't have to set it clear down to the ground. You know, it just takes a lot of bending over. And then I uh, I leave this shelf 
oh, an inch or so short of the leg on, on both ends. And uh, that so that I can take my skill saw, and I have a hook on my saw, and I can just hook it right there. It's right there handy, I can cut, and just hook it right back on there. And I'll uh, use to pound nails in and hang it on the nail, but this really works out slick. No matter what how your thing's situated, you can always hang that saw on there. So that works out pretty good. All right, let's spin it around and get them last four screws in. And then we'll weigh it and see how much uh, how much it come out. So we'll go ahead and get this screwed on. And uh, as you can see here, I screwed up on my angle. Didn't flip my board right. I had the length right, but I just cut my long on the wrong side of the board. But that'll work out all right. Like I say, we're not building a piano here. And uh, that doesn't take the strength away from it at all. This adds quite a bit more strength too. It helps the legs here from, from splaying apart even more than the, with the help of them gussets. So uh, they're, it's a good, good sawhorse. I've, I've had good luck with them. get my scales and we'll uh, flip that over and we'll weigh it. All right, I got my scales here. So we'll go ahead and put this on. I don't have any fancy digital scales, so we'll uh, use this old grain scale. So let's see here, we got, uh, well there's there's 5, 10, 15, 20, okay, it's a little over 20, there you go, right there, 22, 22 pounds, 12 and a half ounces, so that worked out pretty good, of course there's probably half an ounce of dirt or better on it. <laughs> So, all right, we'll uh, spin you around here and we'll show you what, how strong these are. All right, there you go. This, this turned out really good. Had a little wobble back here. Could be my floor. There we go. It's all good. Good, height, good work and height. Uh, holds a lot. So, uh, that's it big step and it's nice you know it's pretty handy to put your stuff right there it's right within reach so it's a they're good saw horses and uh, like I say I can hang my saw on it so uh, that's my my version of the saw horse so uh, hope you enjoyed the video